Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Summer is coming to a close and all I could think about is like palettes that transition well from summer into fall because when fall rolls around, usually I like start playing with like greens and like blues and I also still like some of those like mauve colors and I also still really, really, really like bringing in some of the warmer tones that come with summer into my fall looks like as I'm transitioning into fall and like switching out my palettes that I typically use every day. Today guys, I wanted to go over with you some of my top picks for like transitioning from summer to fall palettes like we're in late summer. If you guys are new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered, makeup opinions, honest reviews, I have OG old school tutorials, and I also have the unfiltered series which is all unfiltered like opinions on things going on in the beauty space. Definitely go check out that series because it's really good. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing before you go, hitting the like button and turning on your notifications just so that you get notified when I post on my channel again. And leave me a comment down below. It tells YouTube that this is an awesome video and a lot more people can actually watch it as well. So let's get into this video, transitioning from summer to fall eyeshadow palettes. And we're gonna start out with some of the more indie makeup brands and also ones that are like a little bit more warm leaning in nature. So we have the Radiance palette from Jolie Beauty. I believe this is still available on their website, but if it is not and you have it in your collection, pull it out. It's such a good eyeshadow palette to transition into fall. I've actually put this in like some of my like best fall eyeshadow palettes, but I was looking at it the other day and I was like, this is such a gorgeous palette just to be able to wear at the end of summer and then transition into fall. You have warms, warm everything. It's kind of like this burnt orange sunset kind of vibe. And that's what I was thinking when I looked at this eyeshadow palette is like burnt sunsets, like burnt warm eyes, very, very warm neutral tones. But also you get some like really nice deepening shades in here which also makes it possible for you to go like a little glam, a little glitz, being able to really dress up that eyeshadow look. However, I was also thinking about how fall is very reminiscent of this kind of color story too. So I definitely could see where if you started more in like the reds and the oranges and you started incorporating some yellows into your looks and then you started incorporating in some of these like grungier tones that transition into fall. This is such a good palette to transition into fall. I also have to mention the Jolie Beauty glitter formula. It is actually like one of the best glitter formulations out there. If you guys remember the Tati Beauty volume one eyeshadow palette this brand here has some of the best glitters that you will ever see they are actually better than the tati beauty in my personal opinion i think that they are they're, they're they literally are comparable to that formula and the radiance palette has two glitters in it it has more of a like true gold glitter here it's called date night and then we also have falling which is also a little bit more of that like copper tone as well but this is such a beautiful and gorgeous eyeshadow palette the mattes are super easy to blend out there's some really nice like pigmented foil shades in here that really just kind of glam it up or you know doll it up for going into those fall months, but it's such a good transition palette. I, I enjoy that palette a lot. If you are wanting something that is definitely not so like warm leaning and it's not so colorful, cause that one is a little bit colorful, but if you like something that has a little bit more across the board when it comes to just being neutral, I definitely have to recommend the Moira Time to Shine eyeshadow palette. Yes, the packaging is like insanely bulky. I, I understand that but the quality of the shades inside is so good. You have very buttery, melty matte shades that just like blend into your eyes just seamlessly. They don't crease, they don't smudge, they don't budge. But you also have these amazing like darker tones in here that really do transition well. Like these are the shades that I start reaching for in fall, but it also comes with those lighter neutral tones and some mauve tones and some purpler tones. So like you can start with the mauve looks and then start going deeper, more grungy as we get more into fall. And this is a really, really fun eyeshadow palette to play with. I also really enjoy this shade right here is called Spice. It's like a wet formula on the lid and it's just so stunning. It is um, my most used, <laughs> it's the most used in this palette because as you can see, it's just like this really beautiful wet formula. If you guys like the Natasha Denona wet formula, but you haven't 
Like if you've swatched it, you've tried it, this eyeshadow palette has one of those in there and it is so pretty because it looks just so wet on the eyes and it's a warmer leaning tone. So it will transition really nicely from summer to fall. I really like the Moira Time to Shine. I, like I said, it, it it comes with a really good variety of like really deep grungy tones, but it also, you can start out with some of those lighter tones and move into that as we get into fall as well. Moira is a really good and underrated makeup brand in my humble opinion. Let's talk about like a bigger palette because this one is, this one's decently big. And this is from Cosmic Brushes. It's the Muse palette. Now you guys are looking at this and you're thinking like, is this really like something that transitions really, really easily from summer to fall? I believe so, and here is why. So you have a lot of these like mauve pink and purple shades in here. Those are just so pretty to play with, especially at the end of summer. And then you also have some of these like yellow tones in here. You have these brighter poppier greens in here. You also have like this mustard, like this mustard yellow, honestly, to me is like the definition of like, you know, transitioning into fall because you could do like a sunset look with some of these looks with the purples and the yellows and you could do something like that. You could even do like a grungy green eyeshadow look, or you could do something a little bit more light, a little bit more poppy, that's for summer. So this does come with a variety of like color combinations that you could choose for the summer months. This is the Muse palette from Cosmic Brushes, but it also has like neutral shades in here as well. I definitely think that like you could take some of these shades in here, you could create a neutral look with it, and it would just be a very simple neutral look for summer if you're looking for like clean girl aesthetic, or if you're looking to do a pop of color in the inner corner or like a mauve look. But overall, it really does have a good range of like light to dark tones. And even though it's kind of all skewed across the board, there's some really great eyeshadow looks that you could get with this for summer and like late summer and into fall. Now I have an eyeshadow palette that I just received, but I was actually, I literally just received this eyeshadow palette. But as soon as I received this, I was like, this is a great transition palette from summer to fall as well, because the new mod from Sigma Beauty actually comes with a really nice array of like really neutral, but almost mauve tones. But then you also, new mod really has like, this very unique color story, I think. It has a very like array of like, you have these neutral tones in here where you have almost like mauve shades, but then you actually transition into these really dark purple shades. And this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And it is more reminiscent of like fall romantic eyeshadow looks. I think it's absolutely stunning. But you have this really, really dark, deep brown, grungy like shade in here. But honestly, starting out with like your lighter, mauve -er tones, in the like end time of summer and then you can transition into these like beautiful purple deep tones that are here on the end of the palette and you can actually start using it at the beginning of fall because purples are just like a huge thing for me at the beginning of fall now new mod is available on the sigma beauty website it does come with this double-ended brush and i absolutely love this eyeshadow palette i think it's gorgeous i think that it is very befitting of like end of summer going into fall especially with those romantic purple tones that i see a lot of like during this time of year. I have an eyeshadow palette that actually is more of a companion palette and we have Jungle Lights from Flower Beauty. This is an all foil eyeshadow palette. So it would do really, really well if you have just like an all matte eyeshadow palette that's browns and then you just pair it with this. But this has more of those like rich, deep tones in it that are more reminiscent of fall. One of my favorite shades is this one right here. But like... It's like a rose gold grungy shade. And then you also have like this yellow shade, which actually works really, really well with like the beginning of summer. And then you also have this like deep grungy purple shade. The big thing with this palette is that it is so pigmented. Like it is so creamy that putting these on the lids, if you're somebody who likes that metallic look to your eyes, this is the eyeshadow palette to go for. I know that there are some like drugstore um, all matte eyeshadow palettes. I know that there's some high-end all matte eyeshadow palettes, but if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette that is like really, really impactful with its foil formulation, Jungle Lights from Flower Beauty is so stunning. You can actually find this on Ulta Beauty. And honestly, if you have just like a couple of matte shades or singles and you could pair it with this for summer into fall as well. This is just such a good palette to reach for. I have a couple of travel friendly palettes because still into fall we're traveling especially with the end of summer and I have some travel friendly palettes that I truly believe are just like 
one and done. Like these are your stops for traveling, but they are also can be, they, I mean, it doesn't have to just be for travel though. It, it, it doesn't. So the first one is actually a release that came out last year around this time, and it is the Mini Starlet from Natasha Denona. This, again, is a mauve eyeshadow palette formula. Like, it's just, it, this is just mauve across the board. One thing I really, truly enjoy about this eyeshadow palette, though, is that it does transition really nicely from summer to fall because you have some of these, like, more salmon-y colors in here, and then you also get some of these more, like, taupey colors as well. So you can create some very subtle looks with it or some really romantic looks with it as well. I do have a full, like, review of the Mini Starlet up on my channel, but I love this one, and I actually like pairing it with some, like, deeper, darker shades that are also um, travel-friendly for fall, but you can also just travel with this on your own, or you can just take this out and you can just, you know, play with it and use it. My favorite shade is called Galaxia, and it's that wet foil formula that she started coming out with. It was, this was the first palette that actually had it. So this eyeshadow palette, it retails for $27. You can usually find it on the Natasha Denona website, or you can find it on Ulta, or you can find it on Sephora now, and that's, it's a, it's such a steal for that. And then the last eyeshadow palette that I have that is really just like, a neutral palette, but it's also travel friendly, but it's also really good to transition into fall would be the new, this is the Creme Brulee Quad from Sigma Beauty. This actually features two mattes, two shimmers. One thing I noticed about this eyeshadow palette is that it is a very like cool leaning eyeshadow palette, except for the gold at the very bottom here. This one's a little bit more warm leaning in nature, but with this quality, you could do just a very, very basic brown look with like this in the crease put this on the lid you're done and this is just a basic all of your looks are going to kind of look the same They're, they might look a little bit different but this is more of a travel friendly eyeshadow palette that you can use from summer to fall and it's just like a very neutral leaning color story as well but it also has the great same like sigma matte formula their shimmers are just so pretty they almost look wet on the eye and then they also have this satin formula so this is the, the actual foil this is more of like a satin formula and to me i truly feel like their foil formula is almost like wet looking compared to other foil formulas that we are used to I feel like Sigma kind of coined like the wet looking foil that Natasha Denona has like introduced into her palettes as well. Okay, so there is my list of eyeshadow palettes that transition nicely from late summer into early fall. Ones that are a very like, they offer a romantic color story where you can actually start using some of the lighter shades in the eyeshadow palette and then transition into more of a grungy look or a purple look or even like that really warm orangey red eyeshadow look that seems to be really popular during the fall months. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love using them and I can't wait to see what eyeshadow looks that I come up with them. I will share them over on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned to the end. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing before you go and leaving me a comment down below. What are some eyeshadow palettes that you pull out during the last month of summer going into fall that you like because you can transition them easily? Thanks so much for watching. I hope you consider subscribing and I hope I get to see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.